Thanks for joining us today. If you're new here, hello, I'm Roma and this is Roaming Required. Here we talk about all things London, travel, uh, expat life, but today we are trying something a little bit different. We are doing a bag review. I managed to get my hands on the latest model and I thought it was about time that I did a review of a product I have used for about four years. So let's get started. This is the Holiday 6 four-wheel cabin size suitcase from Trip. This is what we're going to be reviewing today. I'm going to take you through all of the features of the case to help you decide if you want one. So on the front of the case, you've got the Trip logo as you would expect. And then you also have this decorative cubed design. Uh, if you see this suitcase running through an airport and you couldn't see the logo, you would know it was a Trip branded suitcase just by this design. Okay, let's flip it over and have a look at the side. Like I said before, it is a clamshell design case, which means you have a zip that runs through the middle of the case. And then when it opens up, it opens flat and you have two equal sides. Also on the side here is you have a TSA approved combination lock. Uh, how that works is you use the zippers to lock it into place. So with a click, and then you spin the dials and then your bag is secure. If you wanted to open the bag, you'd obviously select the three digit combination that you have customized for this bag and then press the button on top and the zips will pop away. The TSA approved lock means that TSA agents in airports can unlock your bag using their skeleton key. Uh, otherwise your bag is relatively secure. Also on the back here, you have the telescopic handle to wheel your bag uh, for convenience. So there's a small button, you just press it in and lift. I'm uh, 5'11", 180 something centimetres for those of us that use the metric system and I actually like to wheel my suitcase with the handle not all the way extended but actually part way extended. I just find that's more comfortable, however Russ is about the same height and he likes it extended all the way. So whatever works for you, do that. When you're ready to retract the handle, simply press the button and the handle will collapse in on itself and discreetly sit against the back of the bag. Okay, the all important wheels. Let's take a look. So as I said at the start, this is a clamshell design suitcase. It is four wheels. They are caster wheels, which means they are 360 degrees spinning style wheels. If you, They do call this kind of suitcase a spinner, which means it would spin on a dime if you needed it to. Uh, it's quite easy to navigate very small spaces, uh, busy crowds, tube stations, uh, even very cramped cubicles. Uh, this case does wonders to, to navigate those tiny spaces. The wheels are made from hard plastic. They do make a little bit of noise on uh, footpaths, cobbled stone streets, roads, that sort of thing. Uh, however, with that noise comes durability. Like I said before, we do have a previous model of this case. We have never had a problem with the wheels. They've never broken, never come away. They did get a bit of a squeak after the third year. However, just adding some WD-40 to the wheels really helped and that squeak went away. I do just want to mention the size of the bag. So it is 55 by 40 by 20 centimeters, which means it is compliant with most European budget airlines uh, for their dimensions for carry-on bags. Airlines like EasyJet, Wizz Air, Ryanair all have strict dimensions for their carry-on bags. While they may not be free, um, this is the dimension that they approve as cabin bags. So you can get this one on board. Uh, whether you need to pay or not will depend on the airline. For example, with Ryanair, uh, you used to be take, able to take this size Karen bag on board with you for free. That is no longer the case. Uh, at the time of filming, because this is obviously subject to change, uh, Ryanair would allow you to take this case on board if you purchase priority boarding. And that can be about five pounds per flight. Uh, but it does mean that you get to take this bag with you and something else, a personal item, a small purse. I've even taken a backpack on board. Um, however, these rules are subject to change. So if you are flying with a budget carrier, please check well in advance just to make sure that the dimensions are compliant. Colors, okay, super important thing to know. This is called banana yellow. Uh, this case also comes in a number of other colors. There 
a turquoise blue, slate gray, and watermelon red. Uh, I like them. I think they're really fun colors. They do scream sort of like candy or holiday. Uh, I think this one is very, very vibrant and fun, and it makes me feel really happy just looking at it. Okay, let's have a look inside the case. So like I said at the start, this is a clamshell design case, which means that you need to open the zip all the way to be able to get anything in and out. It does make it a little tricky if you say flying long haul and you just want to get like your jumper out. It does mean that you need to pull down the case from the overhead bin, open it all the way, everyone can see what's in it and then grab what you need and then zip it all back up again. Okay, on the inside, so you do have two equal sides because it is clamshell design. Uh, on this side, you have a mesh screen secured with a zip. The mesh does have a slight give to it, so you can heavily pack this section if you want to. This section I quite like. Uh, it does have the ridges in the back from the telescopic handle on the other side. Um, I like to build my bag around those rid ridges. Uh, I think that is a nice way of keeping everything kind of separated and in place. So you can use this for toiletries bag, camera gear, a tripod, shoes, uh, anything big that can be secured with these large elasticated straps. Uh, and in the center here, you've just got a clip where you just press it and it comes undone. So it's really easy uh, to use. So that's it for the inside. There are no other external zips or pockets on the inside. It would be nice if they had some feature where you could secure your keys or, or something that you don't necessarily need while you're away, but you definitely need to get home. <laughs> My verdict on the Trip Holiday 6 four wheel cabin size seat case. I really like this product. Like I said at the start, we've had one of these for a number of years and I just find them fit for purpose. Uh, you can pack a lot of stuff into these cases. The four wheels are super reliable. The telescopic handle is great for tall people. Um, I think that the colors scream holiday and give you that warm and fuzzy feeling and get you excited ahead of your trip. All of the products that Trip make come with a five year guarantee. So that gives you a little bit of reassurance as well that if you do strike into any problems, uh, that there is a guarantee that will back up the product. So to sum up, the things I liked about the case, uh, the durability, I like the hard shell design, the size, it is compliant with budget airlines that we use. To be fair, this is a uh, weighted review. So I've told you what I liked, but I'm also going to tell you what I don't like about it. So uh, the things I don't like is that there's no nameplate on the back anymore. Uh, there's also no handle on the side, on the long side of the suitcase, on either side. Uh, so that means that if I wanted to put it into the luggage racks in a train, uh, normally you would put it long side in, so sort of like this way, and then you would use a handle to pull it out. But there is no function for that, so it does make it a little bit more difficult if you're traveling by train. The only other thing that I think is missing in this case is a couple of internal zips for small personal items like uh, house keys, your Oyster card, uh, backup currency, anything like that. I think an additional pocket, um, which we do have in one of the older models and it does come in handy for some small items. If you are interested in having a look and feel of this case, you can do so at the High Street retailer Debnams as they do stock the Trip brand. Also, if you're interested in purchasing this suitcase, I have put some links in the description below. So please click on those if you are interested in buying this case. Lastly, thank you for watching and staying with me this long. If you are not already subscribed to the Roaming Required channel here on YouTube, please click the button subscribe and don't forget to click that little bell to get the notifications when the new videos go live. Thanks for joining. Till next time. Bye bye.